what's going on guys welcome back to another video this is going to be episode 6 of building feed today is actually easter sunday so happy easter and this week i got a ton of progress done on the mock got a lot of stuff figured out with the planning and kind of the layout of the mock as well as just placed a lot of bricks and got everything set up on my table so this is going to be definitely a little bit more of a progress update and i think you guys are going to enjoy that so without further delay let's get right into it so starting off the video we can see a time lapse and this is something that i haven't been able to do yet in the series but i definitely want to have more of these because i think that they're a good segment for the video because they're entertaining and they also show the building process and as you can see here i'm building the rock that is going to be all the way on the left side of the mock next to the wall and this rock gave me such an issue because i couldn't figure out the right shaping for it and i have a pretty limited parts variety in light bluish gray and basically the only thing that i had going in on this rock that i knew that i wanted to accomplish was to have the dark bluish gray at the bottom to simulate where the rock would be wet from the water splashing up against it but in the end i came up with a look that i was happy with so I went ahead and placed all of the dark blue on the base plates in front of the main city. And I realized that I was actually about 500 studs short on my calculations. So what I did was I added in some dark green and at the base of the sections where it meets up with the wall, I added in some regular blue, which I'll show you in a second. But I actually really like this. I was going to have to buy more dark blue and I really didn't want to do that. So I went ahead and added in the dark green. And when it's put in, to the tiles it actually looks really nice it has a nice kind of a swampy more natural look and it blends really nicely with the blue around it so i really like the way that looks and then with the regular blue this is a stand-in for the trans clear tiles that i don't have currently and obviously this would get blended more with the tiles and whatever but this is basically what it looks like with the regular blue as you can see on the side here but when this is put up next to the rock and the main wall, it actually really looks nice. So I'll jump to that and show you guys what that looks. So as you can see, I've completed the full section of wall. The only part that I have left to do is way off over in the corner, but everything from all the way on the left, all the way to the right. And I have the break there in the middle and a little bit of rocks. I don't know if that's something that I had covered in the first video, but I wanted to have some rocks because in episode one, you can see them kind of spilling on into the main city. So that is why there's a rock over in the left corner. And then the break here is taken from a deleted scene, but that's also going to be where the greenery area is. I'll pull up a picture of the plans so you guys can tell what I'm kind of talking about. And then it just carries on all the way. We have the nice angled section over here. And then somewhere around here is going to be where the bridge starts. And then I still have to build that little section on the other side. But I'm leaving that for now because I don't know exactly where Daniel's part is going to line up with mine. But we can take this off the tripod and I can give you guys a better look. All right, so here you can see, just getting in closer, this is the main rock. And what I had originally going on with the regular gray and dark gray, I didn't love what I did like about it though was having the dark gray be like the wet kind of rocks like how I have the dark tan tracing out the bottom on the wall. So that was one thing that I really wanted to do and I like the way it looks. And another side note is this white tile underneath is going to be trans clear. I just don't have the parts right now. So I wasn't a huge fan of this. I kind of like the shaping but it looked a little odd having all of those pieces kind of look a little bit repetitive because my part selection in just the regular light bluish gray the slopes are pretty limited so i ended up switching out some of it for olive green and I, I think it just really made this whole rock section it looks so much better than i really expected it to and i just really love the way that it looks i think it adds in something really nice and especially when you kind of bring it out and compare it to the rest of this it adds a nice amount of color so I really, really, really like the way this looks. And then another thing that I like is how the railing kind of morphs in to the rock. I think it brings the entire thing together. And then the next thing is this main section here. It's nothing crazy, but I do like the way it looks. And then moving on, we just kind of have the same stuff going all the way over into this back section here. So 
that I'm super happy with. I did a little bit of the water. And I do have some more over here. And this is the section that is going to be on the end of the mock. So it's going to look something like that. But the other thing that I did is I started doing the layout for the mock. I can go ahead and move this off. But basically the 16 by 16 plates are standing in for where the buildings are going to be. And obviously they're not all going to be squares. It's just the main base. Some of them are going to be longer or maybe a little bit thinner and just make them look interesting. Obviously a few of them are going to be kind of round or whatever. And then there's going to be the main arch there, which I didn't have anything as a stand in. So main arch is going to be there. And then the greenery area is going to be right here next to the break in the wall. But as you can kind of see, we just have the AAT and I just mapped this out with the lights and I hooked everything up. I'm trying to figure out how I want to make this modular because obviously all these lights have to be able to be disconnected so I can transport this. But this is the general idea so far and it does look a little bit cramped, but obviously this is going to get pushed back a little bit more. These lights when I figure out how much space I actually need for the buildings. So. What I'm doing now is just trying to get like a look at what this is going to be and try to visualize it. I can go ahead and turn this on so you guys can kind of see just kind of what it's going to look like. And I really, really like the way that it looks. So I think the next thing is going to be to bring this out and then I'm going to trace out where I want the buildings with the floor first because it's going to make more sense to be able to have the entire floor layout done and then build the buildings to fit in the holes, so to speak rather than to build the buildings and then have to try and go back and figure out how to make the road around it. That just seems like way more work and also a lot harder. So this is what we got going on so far for the mock and let's keep going. All right, so I have spent a couple hours now doing some more progress on the road and this is what I've started to come up with. As you can see, there is a little bit of the elevation differences. This is the same spot that you guys saw earlier and I just kind of carried it over and figured out a little bit more of what is going on. So the original design that I had, this is what's left of it. And what I said was this is an over textured version and that is definitely the case. So what we're doing here is primarily tiles with some sections of snot and just some of these panels connected into grills like this if you just take this little part on the cabinet door it actually fits right into the grill so there's a couple of those just as like street tiles and we're using as big tiles as i have a few ingot pieces here and there scattered but the idea is when you look at bead you can see a ton of sectioned tiles of the floor different sizes and there isn't a whole lot of actual debris or rubble and another thing that you'll notice is there's no studs and I might go through and add in a few here and there, but this just had way too many for my liking and I, it just looked way too rough to be thieved in my opinion. So this is kind of the idea that we're going for now. And for the figures, when I end up placing them and figure out the way that I want them to be placed, then I'll go through and pop up some tiles and switch it out for jumpers and studs and just places to attach figs. So. Basically what we got is a couple different sections of snot and the way that I'm doing it is basically I'm using some Duplo at the bottom with some bricks on top and then plates and then you attach all the tiles to that layer and then for the layer where you want your snot sections it's just two bricks and a plate on top of it and then it just rests on there and it just has the slightest elevation change which really helps out from just a visual perspective, you can see the shadow, which kind of outlines the different floor tiles. So that is going to be the look that we're going for over the entire mock. And I think just this little level of extra detail will make a huge difference when you kind of see the entire mock rather than it just being plates and tiles. This will definitely help out. And if you're wondering about this section here, this is actually where the building is gonna go. I just took this little um, frame here for the bottom of the building and I left the middle open for the light because there's going to be lights shining through the windows in the building so we can kind of tuck this under here and then you just take the frame of the building and you set it down like this and there's a few studs attaching it to the ground but nothing super 
substantial so I can just pop them off for transport. And then that's just going to be how this corner section looks. And I really like the way it looks. I actually am super happy with this road so far. And I think that is basically the look that we want to go for for the rest of the mod. So that is what the roads are looking like so far. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up episode six of Building Feed. As I said, we got a lot of progress done on the main mock and then figuring out a lot of the placement for the mock with the buildings and the archway and the road and how everything is going to fit together. And if you guys are interested in the lights that I'm using in this mock, it is like my bricks and I have a discount code that'll give you $10 off your first purchase. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely go ahead and click the link at the top right corner of the screen. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.